Man, oh man, do I have some great news to share with you guys in today's video. As I'm sure many of you have already seen, the hot topic right now around the entire community, especially, more specifically, the ranked mode. A lot of people are running into the unfortunate scenario where they're being queued up inside of games with people that are using auto parry. This has been an issue for a very long time in the game. I'm going to be honest, uh, I want to say it's been there since... Uh, obviously since release. When I first started playing, it really wasn't that much of an issue. And I feel like a lot of that had to do with the fact that it wasn't really all that competitive. But once you mix in ranked in the picture, well, I mean, a lot of people just want to be number one. Now, this isn't really a big deal when it comes to obviously queuing up in random public lobbies because the likelihood of you joining a lobby with a hacker is very, very slim when there's over 200,000 players at any given time on the game. Problem with that is that in ranked mode, oh, I forgot to turn off AFK. Why do I always do this? Like I was saying, the problem with that in ranked mode, as your elo increases, eventually you will get to a point where you're only queuing up with obviously the best of the best players. Now, surprise, uh, unfortunately, those best of the best players, just about like 85% of them are all hackers. And honestly, till just recently, we had not gotten any information about a possible anti-cheat or really just any sort of system that's going to prevent this has ever been mentioned in the Discord or on the Twitter or anywhere. But as you can see from the picture that I am showing you in the background right now, or I guess in the screen, recently Vito, which is one of the two actual developers that originally were there when the game released because they kind of play more of a management role now. They're not really actually getting hands on with the game. Yo, you just blocked my camera, bro. But yeah, they're playing more of a manager role now, making the calls and, you know, letting the developers know what exactly their vision is for the game. But anyways, as you saw, he went ahead and announced that currently they are in the process of working on a system to prevent the auto parry. Now, if you've made it this far into the video and you're still completely confused as to what auto parry is, basically they stand here and they do absolutely nothing. It just automatically blocks the ball for them. It's honestly extremely annoying, but obviously not completely impossible to obviously bypass. There is certain ways to kind of like trick these hackers into like, I guess, confusing the system and getting them killed. But for the most part, in a scenario where you're in ranked mode, there really is no room for you even dying one time to a hacker. I need to get myself a kill here because I'm running Reaper. Oh no. That is super messed up. Everybody at the end there was literally invisible. I saved myself until somebody got out of invisible, but then I was on cooldown because I didn't time it correctly when he came back. It is what it is. But honestly, man, this is going to be a huge game changer for ranked mode. I have unfortunately been put into two lobbies so far over on the ranked mode with actual hackers inside of them. And it's kind of unfortunate really because I am in no way by any means a high rank. As a matter of fact, I still very much am in silver so the fact that even in silver there is hackers it's insane dude like it's gotten really really bad but obviously it's expected because as i mentioned before the game is sitting at extremely high numbers right now with over 200,000 players at any given time and usually at nighttime it'll drop down to like 190 maybe like 170,000 players now, besides the auto parry, they're also going to be fixing things like people running really fast, obviously, if they're not using Reaper, as well as people doing like the infinite jumps. Basically, exploiting as a whole is obviously not going to be completely eradicated here, but they're definitely going to make it a lot harder and I guess challenge the actual hackers. We need to kind of focus up here, man. I need a dub. Got him. There we go. Now, I guess it has been a while since I kind of gave you guys an update on how I'm doing over on like the public side. I'm sitting right now at 656 wins and 3,658 kills. But yeah, we're doing fairly decent right now. Let's try and bring home another W here really quick.
Ah, good game. That was a tough one. I was pretty much trying to curve anything at that point, but that was definitely a tough fight. To be honest, I feel like I shouldn't have kept trying to have that little 1v1 in long range, and I should have gone up for the close range. Would have had better chances in my opinion, I think. But let's see if he makes it to the end again, or even if I make it to the end. Uh oh. Got him. Well, we made it to standoff, but unfortunately, it is not the same person. But let's see how this goes. All right, I went a lot better. Man, every time that we go from one of those like really dark maps like we were just in to this map, my eyes are quite literally on fire. It literally feels like I'm staring into a flashlight. I'm kind of curious, but let me know in the comments. Have you guys been noticing ever since the last update that the ball kind of lags a lot now? If you notice, it just happened right there, but it sort of like stutters. I've never seen that in any of the updates for Blade, but I don't know if it's going to do it again now, but I've never seen that happen. And I do know that they've been altering the speed, but it seems to kind of be messing it up more in the slower speeds, which is kind of unfortunate because one thing is for sure, it's definitely not lag. All right, let's make this one count, man. Yeah. Back to what I was saying, though, man. I'm really looking forward to this weekend. So that, that way, hopefully, fingers crossed, they do end up adding this whole entire anti-cheat system or whatever it is that they want to call it. Let me know in the comments what kind of experience you guys have had with hackers. I want to see if it's like a very common thing. I'm going to be honest. I know that in every single game, people always say that they get put into hackers and stuff like that, but I've never really had that experience. This is probably one of the very first few games where I was put in. But just to be clear, I've only had two hackers in out of all of the games that I've ever played on here, which is quite literally hundreds of hours, probably not hundreds, but definitely over 105 hours I have on this game already. going to end off on a high note there with another win i thought this was excellent news i wanted to share it with you guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you found it informative if you enjoyed it make sure to drop a like on it i would really appreciate it subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next one take care